Hello and welcome to this tour of the FSU Toolkit software. The FSU Toolkit connects with our fast, compact, high precision FSU strain bridge input module via micro USB to USB lead. This powerful software allows quick setup, configuration, calibration, data recording and review and parameter management of the FSU module which is aimed at dynamic applications that require high speed measurement. This demonstration will take approximately six minutes and will cover the features and benefits of the toolkit, including the ability to save, review, and restore settings, capturing up to 30 minutes of data at 4,800 Hz, the FFT frequency analysis, and simple oscilloscope view, all of which enable optimized, fast viewing of data for your high-speed application. Now, let's start with the tour. We will start on the home page of the toolkit. From here, we can detect and connect to one FSU module. Only one FSU module can be connected to your PC at a time. If we click detect, we can now see that it has connected us to the module and is showing the basic information page. Here, we have some module information and a large display. It is in the same style as some of our other configuration software. We have the icon system along the top with a help bar on the side. Additionally, we have tooltip help, which gives clues when you hover over sections of the toolkit. We can also see that we have set the engineering units to pounds. Here, we can convert the units to ounces or kilograms if we need to. The next icon is the save and restore page. This is the same as the DSC USB and T24 versions and allows the configuration settings to be saved and recalled as needed. The next is the lock page. This allows parts of the calibration, system zero, and display units to be locked out by the calibration house. And now to the calibration page. Here we can set the system zero, perform an automatic two-point calibration with known weights, perform a two-point table calibration using data from the calibration certificate, and set the calibrated engineering units. Now that we've seen the setup parts, we jump to the capture page. This page shows us what is happening in real time to the input of the module. To demonstrate today, we will be tapping the load cell and banging the table. The FSU records up to 30 minutes of data on a rolling window. We can change the size of the viewing window between 1 and 30 seconds. The transient enhance button makes sure that you can see all fast transient peaks and troughs. Without the transient enhance button engaged, due to the way that the large quantity of data is displayed in the chart, fast peaks and troughs may not appear or they may flash in and out of visibility as the data flows past the chart. On all the capture pages, we can do a right click to save a snapshot of the chart to the clipboard to be pasted into another application. We have two options for data capture here, either capture the visible data in the chart using Capture Viewed, or Capture All to grab the last 30 minutes of the data. We'll go with Capture All now. Please note, the data is still being recorded whilst viewing the snapshot of data. This will also apply to the Review, Scope, and FFT pages. This then moves us to the Review page and shows us the captured data. This is where we can navigate through all the captured data and save to a CSV file. As we can have up to 30 minutes of recorded data, it is possible that only a relatively small part of that data is of interest to us. The view can be changed by grabbing the ends, moving them in, and then sliding the window to the area we are interested in. To reduce the file size, the rest of the data can then be cropped and only the useful part left. We can click on a point in the chart and the first cursor will appear, giving the readings at that point. If we then click second cursor, we can select a second point on the chart. Also displayed in the bottom right are the time and value differences between the two cursors. If we had done previous testing, a previously saved file could be loaded for further analysis. This feature is also available even if there is no FSU connected. The next page we have is the scope. This page offers a simple oscilloscope view of wave-based input signal to help visualize what is happening from 1 Hz to 500 Hz and to detect patterns in data. 
This will be demonstrated by using a vibrating hex bug. The scope will automatically select the best settings to view the current waveform. The last page we come to is the FFT. This page shows the relative magnitude of the frequency components of the input signal from 1 Hz to 2040 Hz. Again, we can demonstrate this with the hex bug. Here we see there are peaks at 56 Hz. This brings us to the end of our toolkit demonstration. The software is free to download from our website. Simply visit mantracourt.com and select Software Downloads from the Support menu. As I previously mentioned, the FSU module is ideal for dynamic applications that require high-speed measurement. So if this is of interest to you, we would be happy to provide a quote. Please see our website for contact details. Thank you for your time.